Hi folks, we're back, cutting through the matrix. I've mentioned two in the past, in fact this week I mentioned or touched on uh, Kinsey, the Kinsey report that changed the whole world in a sense. It was all fake of course, but it's pushed from the top down, because you see you're living in their system, the, the, the ancient revolutionaries are running the world today. And Dr. Judith Reisman is the person who came out and exposed a lot of the stuff, all factual stuff, and, and got a movement going to, to really expose what it was all about and what its intentions were about too. And I'll put her link up tonight too to her site. It's excellent too for those who want to see what's been happening in reality. But in this article, she's writing about this uh, novel that's out, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, that has been promoted heavily by the entertainment industry and so on. And it says, Pedophilia Hiding in Plain Sight. This is a story of convicted child rapist Jerry Sandusky, as well known. So too is the Fifty Shades of Grey phenomena, a book that's become so popular amongst women. And there's a reason for that too. It says that some are referring to it as mommy porn for the masses. Because the big boys uh, knew a long time ago, they've studied us so minutely, the women uh, are more into uh, the written descriptions and so on, where imagination is used when it comes to pornography than men. And, um, and it says it's, it's really pornography for women. It's the same thing with these so-called romance books, uh, the Harlequins and so on, uh, that pushes a lot of porn through it. That's all it's about. And that's his intention too. But it says that description is actually a lot more disturbing than a lot of folks are currently realizing. Yes, Fifty Shades uh, is pornography. Like most pornography, the storyline is weak. The character is one-dimensional. Well, the sex itself is graphic, detailed, but formulaic. The underlying theme to Fifty Shades is something far more sinister and appalling uh, though than your mere run-of-the-mill porn. It's actually pedophilia, and it's child porn or kitty porn. It says, I know that after saying that many female fans of the Fifty Shades, many of them mothers, will naturally put up a defense against that kind of description. These women being mothers were naturally wired to protect children. People like Jerry Sandusky are viewed with hatred, re- revulsion, and disgust, rightfully so. What mother would want to condone anything having to do with the sexual abuse of children, of innocence? But that's exactly what Fifty Shades of Grey is really about. It's a story of a girl being sexually molested over and over again by a male figure with all the power all the control is the classic abuse scenario. And mothers are in some cases quite literally getting off on it, which takes the disgust of the phenomena to a whole other frightening level. Psychologists help to write all this stuff too, by the way. So having put that out there, and I hope I haven't lost any of you just yet, I owe an explanation after having made that kind of accusation about a book some of you may be reading right now. And I'll start with a bit of background first. She tells you how... Um, her professional experience since around 20 years of, of child protective services. Over that time, she's seen situations that do literally keep them up all night. This is the, the amount of abuse that's going on in a society, that sexualization of her children. And that's what, that's what, again, was from the top down, has been promoted, the sexualizing, heavy sexualization of children. This is, uh, and what you hear about and what's in the news and so on. It's only a small sample of how large a problem and, and the disgusting acts that are going on every day. Children are being raped and children are being abused every single day over and over again. And she didn't seek out Fifty Shades of Grey. It was a friend who also was in the same field of uh, child looking after uh, fighting child abuse and so on and treating children who had been abused who had brought it to her attention and it says her reaction to Fifty Shades of Grey was much more aggressively negative than anything I could recall her talking about before. It came up because I mentioned it to her offhand. I'd seen a couple of mentions on the news and knowing her interest in cultural trends asked her about it. She stopped talking right at me and said that the book was about pedophilia. And it was her who then connected it to the Sandusky tragedy where so many young boys had been sexually abused. Sandusky committed his acts of crime under the cover of actually helping youth. That was just typical. Because they go for their targets, right? This is how he gained access. My friend said Fifty Shades of Grey was basically the same exact thing. Its cover was a story of a young woman engaging in a very graphic sexual relationship with a somewhat older man. And she said the problem for her, and it was a big problem, was that the narrator in the story was in fact an underage girl. And this is the interesting part. My friend indicated, based on the use of language in the narration, that this girl was likely no more than 12 or 13 years of age, psychologically, you see. 
And it says, I made mention that the girl in the story was actually getting ready to graduate college. My friend, a woman with years of experience as a clinical psychologist whose expertise I'd personally witnessed a number of times over the years, shook her head and told me that she was not able to convince me by simply talking about it. She said, I should read the book myself, but do so with the eyes of somebody whose job it had been for many years to try and protect children, and so on. And she says, I'll try and summarize my friend's words at the time. Sexual predators are cons. They're con people. They almost always have a cover. It's the cover which allows them access. Fifty Shades of Grey is a cover. It's a con. And now has access to millions of readers. It's a story about abusing from beginning to end. And it's not just the abuse of man and a woman. It's the abuse of a man and a girl. And when you read it, look for the signs. They're all there. The female character has no sexual experience. None. She's given the age of 21 just to keep the people happy. But the age is, is itself a cover. Her true emotional age is much, much younger. She's never even masturbated. She's never even experienced an orgasm. That alone is one of the greatest attra- attractions to the pedophile. That's the psychology of the kind of facts. You get, they get off on taking purity. But move from the fact that the girl has no sexual experience whatsoever. Now pay attention to her narrative dialogue. Listen to how she talks. Again, she's not talking like a young woman. She's talking like a young girl. She talks about carpools and skipping over and over again. It's the language and the imagery of a young girl. After that, this girl has her innocence taken from her. The abuser, the older man, makes her think it's her choice. Again, you and I both know that it's one of the primary tools of the pedophile. They create an environment where the child feels it's their idea. It's what they want, but what happens after the, incident, the innocence is taken away, then the abuser becomes more openly abusive and controlling. In this story, he tells the little girl how to speak, what to wear, what to eat. He's daddy and she is daughter. When you read it like a mother who's also a woman who's experienced with the real-life tragedy of abuse. And there's many more themes about that abuse in the book. There is spanking and the use of baby oil. Why baby oil? Think about it. The girls wear pigtails. She complains he is treating her like a child. He says she acts like a child. There's even a scene where the abuser creates a situation to make her take her innocence from her again. He rips out something and engages in forced sex and so on. And, and so on and so on. Anyway, you can read it yourself, folks. But the fact is, this is how they put the porn out there to hook people in by giving them some kind of fascinating story. And they do get hooked on this, by the way. And they don't realize in a conscious manner that they're reading a form of uh, sexual pornography abuse systems. And as I've said before so many times, this industry, like all the parts of the culture industry, is a part of destroying all that was to bring in the new. And I'm not kidding about that at all. It's from the top down, not from the bottom up, that also is getting pushed. Those at the top are the ones who guide all the cultural changes. And this is how they put it across. And they do bring on specialists, just like they do with Coronation Street and all the rest of it, to train the public. They bring in psychologists, psychiatrists, social workers, all kinds of behaviorists, anthropologists. And it's the same thing to write these books. doesn't matter whose name is on the cover. They get a lot of help to write it by specialists to make sure it has the right impacts on the psychology of the readers. I'll put this link up tonight, too, for those that want to look into it. Also,